All right, this is lesson 48, Perceptible Hull, page 326 to 329. This will be a little bit easier than that graphing functions, especially with the step functions. Okay, that's kind of hard. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to draw three row ratio tables to help solve percent problems about parts of a whole. So I'm going to jump right into example one, right over here. And this says, I'm at the top of page 327, 30% of the students ride the bus. If 210 do not ride the bus, how many students are there in all? So we're going to break that down into, there are students that ride the bus, there are students that do not ride the bus, and we have a total. So the students that ride the bus, they said there are 30%. So we'll go down the percent column. We know the, the total is going to be 100%. So we can assume that if the total is 100%, 30% ride the bus, 70% do not ride the bus. Now we know from the story problem that 210 do not ride the bus. So we don't know the total. And we don't know how many rode the bus. So the question is, how many students are there in all? So what we're going to do is we're going to identify this. We're going to take this part out right here. We're going to create the ratio 7D out of 100 is equal to 210 over t. I'm going to just do a little bit of reducing right here. And what we said we do is we multiply the loop because they're equal, divide whatever's left. So right now we have 7 is what's left. So we take 2, 10 times 0, or times 10, add a 0. We have 2100. We divide by 7. 7 goes into 21 three times. 21, come on, with two zeros left over. So we know <clears throat> that the total number of students would be 300. And if we go 300 minus 210, this should be 90. Just to prove that this makes sense, we could go 30 over 100 is the same as A over 300. Let's see if that works. 30 over 100 equals A over 300. So if this works out, it should come out to 9. I'm going to reduce this. I'm going to multiply the loop. 300 times 3 is 900. Or 90, I should say. And then 90 divided by 10. That's what's left over, is 90. So that works out. Example two looks like this. Shauna correctly answered 17 of the 20 questions on the game show. What percent of the questions did she answer correctly? So we have incorrect, we have correct answers, we have incorrect answers, and we have total. And our two columns are the percent totals and the count totals. So it said, she answered correctly, 17. She answered incorrectly, 3. And the total would be 20. We just went 20. Subtract the 17. Is a 3. Okay, we know that there are 100% of the questions. And what we want to find out is how many did she answer correctly? So all we have to do is take this and this over this and this. C over 100 is the same as 17 over 20. Multiply the loop. We have 1,700 divided by 20. 1,700 divided by 20 is the same as 
170 divided by 2, which is 170 cut in half, which is just 85. So what we're thinking right now is if she has 85% correct, 100 minus 85 is 15. We should have 15% incorrect. We'll just show this really quick. We'll take this over this is the same as this over this. So we'll say n over 100 is the same as 3 over 20. Multiply the loop. Divide by what's left over. 300 divided by 20, which is the same as 30 divided by 2. 30 in half is 15. So that checks out. Okay, this is less than 48% of a whole. This is page 326 to 329. Uh, if you get stuck, come and see me. I can help you. And if you need me to work out practice problems with you, I will do that. Okay, have fun.